Ladies and gentlemen, um, colleagues, students, alumni, thank you very much for joining us this evening. I'm really delighted to see, to see so many of you, and this is our new facility. This is our new Fed Hall, and I'm really glad that we're able to fit all of you in here. And in a few years, we'll have to probably expand this facility to accommodate more of you. So that's fantastic. Um, I heard some great things from uh, uh, Tom's uh, uh, introduction this evening, and I must say that this is exactly what we like to do. This is exactly what we like to hear. Um, less than 60 years ago, we started a very different experiment here, an experiment that, that brought forward an unconventional type of education. A lot of people, critics and skeptics, said this will not work. This university is too unconventional. This university is too radical. It is very risky. This is non-conventional. It is doomed to fail. They were right about almost everything except that failing thing, that we were unconventional. We were a university that we thought outside of the box. We took risks. You see the results. This is, this is the environment that we believe not only will it answer the needs and aspirations of today, but this is the environment that we like to see that answering the needs and challenges of tomorrow. We are blessed with attracting so many young, fantastically talented minds here to our university. And we cannot take it for granted. We need to make sure that they are in an environment where they are challenged all the time and they are challenging us all the time. They are in an environment that their knowledge that they are acquiring from this university, from their teachers, is an added value to their, what they already know. We, want, we need to ensure that they are in an environment that it is extremely research rich, that we want to come up with the best combination that they are learning, they are learning new things, they are learning new things from new discoveries and new knowledge. And they are adding their own talent to that. They are being very creative and we are pro providing them with an environment that they are encouraged to test those new ideas. They are encouraged to come forward, say that I have something that nobody has thought of before and I'm not afraid in pursuing this idea because this is what you've encouraged me to do. I don't worry about failure. If I fall, I will get up, learn from this, and I'll move forward. We are blessed to have those kind of talents here at the University of Waterloo. And it is our responsibility to make sure that they are Educate, being educated at our institution as the leaders of tomorrow. It's a fantastic environment to be in. This week, we've gone through, we've done so many things. I, our students, various student groups, they won international awards. We had faculty members being named to various international organizations. Today, this morning, we, we broke ground for our Engineering 7 building, and the list goes on and on and on. This is our university that, less than 60 years ago, that had nothing. We only had trailers to have our first classes. And this is where we are today. It's being recognized as one of the top universities in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not where we want to stop. This is not where we want to pause, sit back, and say, what a beautiful scenery. Let's enjoy it. Have a glass of wine and enjoy it. We don't want to pause, not even for one second. This is a very exciting time for us. The world is waiting for the University of Waterloo, waiting for its graduates, to ensure that our future is well looked after. This is the reason why we can't stop. This university is filled with innovation, is filled with energy, and is filled with the brightest minds in the world. If you took a satellite, the infrared satellite picture of this campus, now let me bring a little bit of engineering and science to it, this campus will be glowing very, very brightly. It's thanks to you, 
This year, first time in our history, ladies and gentlemen, this is something to celebrate. Please, let's do it. 54% of our incoming class, undergraduate class, came to this university with 90 plus average. 90 plus average, more than half our students came here with 50, 50 plus, uh, 90 plus average. We have the largest number of students coming to our university with 95 plus average. So this is not by accident. This is happening because our students are so mature, they are academically so strong, and they are choosing our university from all around the world to come here and study. When I talk to you at the convocation with uh, Professor Russell and I, we have a great time talking to you while as you're graduating. And the part that I'm most envious, and I'd like to follow up with you, see that you're okay you know, in your work environment. Those of you who are going to Bermuda, I'd like to follow and see that you're, you're, you're really doing well at your works, workplace. Our graduates, more than 6,000 of us, of uh, SAF graduates, you work all around the world in 35 different countries, we counted. Large number of you are already leaders. They occupy leadership positions. And I'm delighted to know that more than 40% of our alumni, they have given back to this university. It's fantastic. Don't know what's wrong with the uh, remainder 60, but you know, we'll work on it. Now, joking, uh, aside from this, we're grateful for your contributions. We're grateful for really being the custodian of, of, of our school, making sure that it is functioning, it is providing education and scholarship at the highest level. This is what we, we're expecting from our school. This is what we will continue expecting from our school, and nothing less than that. Our future has many challenges. The world economy will, will be going through various levels of fluctuations. We will have environmental challenges, we will have food security, we will have water issues, but we will also have tremendously exciting other opportunities that will be provided to us. And we will like to make sure that we're not, our university is not a bystander, we're not watching what's happening around the world and trying to respond we will be one of the architects in building that future. Yesterday, we remember those who, were, who, who gave their lives for freedom, for democracy, for, uh, for our country. We remember them. And as we did that, we also remembered that how lucky we are to be living in one of the best countries in the world. That our school is determined, it is our duty to make sure that we will keep Canada as one of the best countries in the world, ensuring that we will prosper, we will make sure that our country economically will be very strong, and the only way to do this is through the leaders that are educating at this university. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening we are celebrating and acknowledging those who have achieved very high academic uh, achievements. I congratulate them. I'm very proud of them. On behalf of all my colleagues, let me again thank you for being here in this lovely evening. Uh, but uh, uh, your support, your connection to our school and to university means a lot to us. Please, as Tom said, keep your connection with us. We count on your connection, your, your support, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much.